It's Friday, October 9th, 2015. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Ashbean. Here's what you need to know about what's happening at the University of Texas at El Paso. We're here at the new Mining Heritage Park, which was rededicated during last week's homecoming festivities. The park was previously located between Quinn Hall and Old Main and features mining equipment that has been at various locations around the campus for more than 50 years. The park pays homage to UTEP's mining past and is located between Old Main and Vowell Hall. Well, the roots of the school happen to be mining heritage. Uh, it was created by the state of Texas to provide mining engineers to the New Mexico, Arizona, and even Mexico. The WM Keck Center for 3D Innovation in the College of Engineering recently received a $2.1 million grant to develop a next generation 3D printer. This 3D printer is being nicknamed the factory of the future because it will be capable of printing multiple materials as well as performing common manufacturing processes. At the end of the project, the 3D printer will be able to produce fully functional electronics like a cell phone or satellite without the need for assembly or additional processing. The new grant is funded in part by American Makes, or the National Additive Manufacturing Innovation Institute, which is working to revitalize manufacturing in the United States through 3D printing. As an undergrad working at the uh, WM Keck Center, uh, I get the opportunity to work with different companies such as Lockheed Martin. And here at UTEP, you have one of the most fantastic uh, 3D printing labs in the world. And uh, while being able to work on this project, uh, it's been a great opportunity to learn a whole lot about uh, manufacturing and getting real world skills that uh, really you couldn't get anywhere else in the U.S. University of Texas at El Paso President Diana Natalicio delivered her annual State of the University Address on Tuesday, September 29, 2015 as part of the annual Fall Convocation Ceremony. The speech reflected on centennial year accomplishments and academic landmarks. Dr. Natalicio also expressed gratitude for community leaders who have helped the university become what it is today. State Representative Marissa Marcus was recognized for her role in securing legislative funding for the soon-to-be-established School of Pharmacy. Harold Hahn, CEO of Rocky Mountain Mortgage, was recognized for his representation on the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board from 2010 to 2014. You can do your part to keep UTEP beautiful during this weekend's Adopt a Landscape event. It takes place at 8 a.m. Saturday at Leech Grove. Volunteers are encouraged to help maintain their patch of land throughout the semester. Remember to bring a hat and a pair of gloves. You can get more information on this event at 747-5511. For more on these and other stories, visit utepnews.com. Go Miners!